This video is brought to you by Elgato Gaming. With 4K capture cards, green screens, and the most advanced lighting technology available, Elgato Gaming has everything you need to kickstart your streaming career. To learn more on how Elgato can improve your production, click the affiliate link in the description below. You've seen teases for it online for months, and you've always wondered how you can play with NCAA teams on Madden 19. Luckily for you, SGO's here with a comprehensive how-to on installing the fan-made college football demo. And it's a lot easier than you may think, so let's get into it. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. Now before we begin, there are a few things to go over. First, you have to own Madden 19 on PC, as neither the Xbox One or PS4 versions of the game allow modding of any kind. If you don't own the game, you can get it via various online stores for a decent price or via the Origin Access subscription service directly from EA. Secondly, all links for the software and files that we mention will be in the description below. That way you don't have to worry about searching for everything you need, it'll all be right there for you. Lastly, this how-to is only for the demo version of the mod that features just the Clemson Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. The full 32 team mod is still in development and unavailable at the time of recording. Once it's out though, we'll make sure to update you on if there are any new installation requirements. But now that that's out of the way, let's finally get into the modding. The first thing you're going to want to do is go and download the Frosty Mod Manager and the College Football 2019 mod. Now if you already have the Frosty Mod Manager downloaded, you don't really have to worry about it, but if you don't have it on your computer and you just download the College Football mod that comes with the Frosty Mod Manager in the folder already, saving you some precious downloading time, even though the file isn't that big to begin with. Once downloaded, be sure to extract the RAR files with a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip or even 9-Zip if you want to use that that's on the Microsoft Store. Once all the files are extracted and ready to go, now we get into the steps that you really need to pay attention to. First, the roster file. Take the roster file from the college football mod folder that you extracted and move it over to the game's save location. This is usually going to be located in Documents, Madden NFL 19, and Settings. Once you migrate over there and copy the file, you've done everything you need to do there and you can close that window out. Now open the Frosty Mod Manager through whichever folder you have it, whether the standalone downloader or through the Mod Manager program in the College Football Mod folder. Once the manager is open, you'll be asked to select the Madden 19 EXE file in the Game folder. This is in the install path of wherever your Origin games are located. If you're not sure where that is, you can find it by opening Origin, going to your game library, and click the settings cog in the Madden 19 game tile, and then choosing the move game option. This will take you directly to your folder where your game's installed, allowing you to know exactly where it is. Once you do that, go back to Frosty Mod and go to the location that you found via Origin. Now that the game's successfully loaded into the mod manager, it's time to actually import and apply the mod. In the bottom left of the program, click the Import Mods option and migrate to where your mod file is located and click Open. One thing to note is that after applying the mod, you may get a warning about it being for an earlier version of the game. You can ignore this warning as the mod will still work with the game, there just might be some hiccups. After that, simply click Apply Mods in the bottom center of the program and let the program run its course, adding the mod to your game. Once done, you should see Applied Mods pop up on the right hand side of the program with CFBM19 Championship Demo selected. Now that the game is modded and ready to go, you need to launch the game from inside the Frosty Mod Manager by pressing the launch button at the top. If you open the game through Origin, you're not going to have the mod available to you. As the game loads, you'll notice the new splash screen of the mod that shows College Football Mod 19 Championship Demo, along with the two teams available to play. Other than that though, the loading video featuring Antonio Brown and the menu will remain the same, so don't worry when you see it. 
Once in the game, you'll need to load the roster file. So go to Settings and select Share Manage Files. Then select Load and Delete Files and choose the appropriate roster titled CFBM19 Demo. Once loaded, you're ready to go and play. Go to Play Now and choose Exhibition Game and then choose Custom Matchup. In the team selection screen, Alabama replaces the Chicago Bears and Clemson replaces the Denver Broncos. If you see the wrong logos in the team selection option, don't be worried. Latest versions of Madden cause logo conflict on the team select screen as well as the scorebook within the game. The latest updates to Madden also revert the rest of the game's presentation back to the traditional Madden views. That means all transitions will be NFL branded along with any and all stat overlays. That said, both Clemson and Alabama rosters are completely accurate and the Levi Stadium field is also complete with the college football playoff branding. But that's really it. As long as you can see the teams available, you're all set to play college football in 2019. One piece of advice that I can give is play with the commentary off as the calls will make no sense in regards to the action actually happening on the field. And there are some other things to be aware of with the mod. You can't use this mod with a pirated version of Madden 19. It just won't work, so don't bother trying. If you're interested, spend the money and actually buy the game. Another thing to note is that at launch, the developers are planning to include rule set adjustments, including a player being down the moment their knee hits the ground, only one foot being needed for a catch in bounds, and wider hash marks on the field, among other college-specific rules. Unfortunately, college overtime rules won't be available due to modding restrictions. Lastly, when the full mod is launched, the 32 teams that'll be available are as follows. Alabama, Auburn, Boise State, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Houston, Iowa, LSU, Miami of Florida, Michigan, Michigan State, Mississippi State, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Oregon, Penn State, South Carolina, Stanford, TCU, Tennessee, Texas, Central Florida, UCLA, USC, West Virginia, Virginia Tech, Washington, and Wisconsin. You can keep a track on the status of these teams' development by visiting the game's official website in the description below. And should there be a team that's not one of the 32 in the game, but you'd like to see, you'll be able to mod the game yourself and add your own teams, including jerseys, rosters, logos, and more. Now you've played the college football mod, you've played as Clemson, and you've played as Alabama, and you've had your fun, but you decide you don't want the mod on your game anymore. It's really simple to uninstall, as you simply can load up Frosty Mod Manager and choose to remove the mod, or you can just launch the game through Origin to play the base game. So sports gamers, let us know in the comment section below if you're going to give the NCAA mod for Madden 19 a shot, and let us know if you have any issues at all getting the mod up and running on your PC. To stay up to date on the development of college football for Madden 19, check out the mod's official Twitter account, at CFBM19. Currently, there is no set release date for the completed mod, but all the information can be found there. For now, be sure to like this video to help the channel grow, and don't forget to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online, and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video goes live. And if you also want to help out SGO directly, consider becoming a supporter at patreon.com slash sportsgamersonline, and be part of the conversation yourself at the newly relaunched and rebranded SGO subreddit at r slash sportsgamersonline.